<laughs> Thank you, Jesus. How many know that you are free? You know you felt something. Oh, that's right. Man. God is a spirit. And they that work in must work yes, in Lord. the spirit Hallelujah. and the Thank you, Jesus. Lord, if you receive something from yes, God, you've got to receive it through the spirit. Yes. Hallelujah. That's why you come to rejoice in you are showing your faith to know that God has solved the problem and settled that situation. Yes, I'm not going to worry about it no more. Help, help me. Man. No. Hey, no. Yes, God promised to bless me. Hallelujah. And I know I'm blessed. Yes, I know you're blessed this morning. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. You worked out a problem? Lord. While you were sleeping. Man. Yeah. Lord. You picked out a problem last year for you. Yeah. Yes, Lord. Last month you picked the problem. Hallelujah. Yeah. Lord. Hallelujah. Lord, hallelujah. Yeah. Oh, I shot that. Believe is Lord. based on your yes, ability. Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. And praise God. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. And the more you Lord. praise Him, Amen. the more it gets God's attention. <laughs> God kept back the milk. Yes. And how you are praising Him, even Lord. though you might be going through the storm. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. I'm still going to lift Him up. Yes, Lord. I'm going through something right now. Lift Him up. Hallelujah.
shall be seated. Uh, from John, third chapter, and I want to connect with Acts, the 27th chapter. And the thought that I want to again leave with you, when God speaks, He speaks to you in the natural, but you have to be able to interpret it in the spirit. I have tried to express to the world through YouTube the need to hold to the scriptures as God's inspired word and not to try to change it or depart from it. But many seemingly don't want to accept truth as divine. When God sends a word no one can take that word and twist it to his own purpose. We have to understand that there is an importance in the code of obedience. Once I hear the word, I've got to obey the word and apply it in my life day by day. Now here in John's gospel, and we pick up in verse 12. If I have told you earthly things and ye believe not, how should ye believe if I tell you of heaven? If I share the scripture with you and you still don't understand, hmm. how in the world are you going to understand when God speaks to you inwardly, Amen. spiritually? Right, so we, we have to understand, brothers and sisters, the importance of coming to church and allowing the spirit to have its way. Amen. And then when the word goes forth, to grasp hold to the word, you cannot look at circumstances that you are going through and apply your circumstances to the Word of God. Not in the context, well, in other words, Gideon asked a question, Lord, if you be our God and you be for us, why are we always going through these problems? But God spoke to Gideon and said, go in this thy might. Surely I'll be with you. So problems and struggles come and they will come. Right. You might as well walk with God because you still won't have trouble. Right. I would rather go through my troubles and my earthly journey with God than away from God. Amen. Because there are some things you can't solve yourself and you already know that by now. Yeah. But mm -hmm. we can do all things through Christ that strengthens right. us. Amen. I can solve any problem, not myself, but God in me. Yeah. But I have to first trust in God and believe in God. If I believe in God, I can't come to church. Sorrow. Burning down, unhappy, trying to figure out how to make it, what's wrong with me now, how come this and how come that, forget about all that. Trust in God and lean not to your own understanding. When you start trying to figure out these problems in life's journey, listen, stay away from holiness. Get you a bottle of liquor and stay drunk every day. Amen. <laughs> Amen. But if you believe that God can be your all in all, look at circumstances in the church right now. Some have went and tried to get jobs and applied and applied and applied and got a little job. Then sooner or later, God decided to open up a door and bless someone with a big job. Well, how is he going to get back and forth to it? God will provide. Come on. If God give you a job, He'll provide your transportation. Hallelujah. If God will make a way for you, trust in God. If He say He'll make a way for you, He'll make a way for you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So you're not doing your job when you're facing supervisors who don't like you. Don't worry about that. Put God in the situation. Put God in the mix. And when they get ready to fight against you, you stand aside. something church right. belief in God is based on how God speaks to you yeah. but if God speaks to you through a message and you receive it in the natural you've got to apply it in the spirit Amen. Jesus said if I've told you of these things and you believe not how should you believe if I tell you of heavenly things watch and no man has ascended up to heaven who's speaking now no man 